Hey, hey, it's me, Blossom, the mischievous Blossom. I'm here today to show you some of the importance of boning your hair. <laughs> so hair bones in V-Void Studio are very important. Um, they make your hair move and have physics, as you see here. My ears are actually counted as hair, so they wiggle. If they didn't have any bones, they would be stiff and would not move at all. My hair here has some kind of fluff and movement to it. And also my bangs, very much my bangs. It's very important to properly bone your uh, <laughs> hair because if you don't, it can look very off. Even if it's a good hair, like it looks good, even if the preset itself looks good. Um, if you don't have the right physics, it can just look odd. So here I actually have a um, hair preset that I bought and uh, the person who made it is obviously very skilled at making the hair, the, the, you know, actually making it. I actually did edit it a bit. Um, to fit but uh like the bangs were different and such so those are actually from my model here but the back hair is what we're really looking at these two uh these two ponytails also you see the floating there don't worry about it that's just those would be attached to the arms but they're not in here but uh, today we're going to focus you see these two ponytails here. um these two ponytails are from the original person the original person uh, did a very good job on modeling it. You can see a lot of uh, the details. Also, it's a different texture. They didn't make the texture, but the model itself is very good. It has a lot of layers. It looks fluffy. It looks very cute. Um, but the main issue is how they rigged it. So I actually bought this one and I have actually um, advised before to buy it on uh, buy uh hair presets on booth or you can get free ones or you can get ones that you buy i believe this was like a dollar maybe five dollars i don't remember exactly but main reason is if you get a hair preset free or paid for you uh can't assume that the rigging will be perfect because some people um don't know how to rig as well and xyz Nothing against them. It's actually kind of hard to learn uh, when you uh, are starting out. It takes some practice, but today I'm actually going to explain a bit about how to rig properly, how you can sort of recognize um, bad rigging or um, and how you can fix it. So first of all, I'm going to I'm going to go into bones and I'm going to show you this. So here you see, um, I have changed the rigging on this. So this one is rigged you see it's one color which means that this entire section these all of these hairs are rigged on one bone one bone this is it this bone here so they will all move in tandem together uh when it, when it, there is some kind of physics so you see these here uh i have reboned this one hair this like this one ponytail you see there's different sections so these sections will move together so um i think the best way to explain it is actually to show it so i'm going to go into camera exporter okay pose an animation and i'm actually going to show you some of the animations so you see here's walking as you can see because this is on one bone uh it will only move from where the two point of the bone are set so i'm actually actually i'm going to go back into the hair bone editor here so you can actually see this so as you see here, uh, when I click on this, you see this these two dots. Those are like the joints. So you know when you have your hand, uh, if you think about your hands and your fingers, you can see like the different joints and they move at those points. So these little balls here are, are the joints. So um, that's where they will move. And also if that part of it is moved, then it will move. But if that part of it is not moved, then it won't move. So. Let me see here. So you can kind of see that those two joints, there's really not that much movement here. There's a little bit there because there's a joints about here, uh, but there's not much on top at all. And you see mine there, it has a lot more lifelike uh, movement to it because these are these are in one point, they move together. These are, this layer is in one point, that layer is in one point. You see just by walking, there's a huge difference. This side looks a lot more lifelike than this side over here. So um, that's part of the importance of uh, 
properly rigging your hair. If it's not rigged right, then it will lose a lot of the lifelike uh, movement. A lot of it, you see here. So I'm going to do running a bit. You see there, this one doesn't even move on top at all. There's no movement. Hair doesn't move like that. Like it doesn't stick to stick there, especially with a ponytail like this. Actually, it hardly moves at all below. But over here on my edited one, it's flopping, it's moving around, it's kind of having this little party here. That is how it should properly move. Uh, so how do you fix that? You, 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 you're you recognizing it, you can see it, you know that this one is not moving how it should move. And this one is moving, but you know, you're both of them were like this originally. So, so how do I, how do I fix that? How would I fix that, huh? Well, go into bones on your hair on the hair editor tab so first of all um i'm going to show you a bit of what i did here and actually a reminder to myself so here i have uh these these sections here in this color are all rigged together i clicked multiple ones and i counted two joints so it will move here and i'll move here and i made sure not to go too far that is a very important thing if i put it all the way back here then it would move all the way there and it might look a little odd especially since a lot of the time hair does not move all the way back there you want to make sure that it has some space also hit radius is important uh but that is not as important in this particular one so i will i'll, I'll explain that a bit later but um a tip that i have for this so first of all, let me go into these. I have to click this. This is all boned under one strip. That is kind of messy. So um, so I want to click on a hair, remove bone from bone group, and then it'll change color like this. It'll go back to the original hair color. As you can see, uh, you don't want to bone any of the hair. You don't want to rig any of the hair that's on the scalp because that won't move. I don't know why this isn't rigged. I'll have to fix that. And then too. <laughs> sometimes hair import sometimes hair imp importing hair will do that. It will get rid of bones. So you need to double check that. Um, like I said, these are not rigged properly. But the ears are rigged there. So you basically you just have to go through and uh remove all the bones from these. One at a time. I know it's it's a kind of a hassle. So I wanted to add this little thing in here because I'm a big dumb dumb. So I didn't realize you could do this, but you can actually go through. You don't have to go through one by one of the hairs and click them. You can just go over here to group hairs and do delete bone group. And you just go uh, one at a time. Find, or find the groups you want and it should uh yeah delete the delete the bone groups so i i'm a big dumb i didn't know that so quick detail i wanted to point out you see the color of this looks very much like this but it's not actually in the bone group and you can tell by looking by clicking on it there and you'll see that this these here are right there that's not uh you can see this is where those bones are but if you click this you can see that those where those bones are so sometimes the colors will be very alike you use only a limited amount of colors and if you have a lot of hair groups uh it can get a little confusing sometimes but don't worry about it uh just double check there that they're not attached and that should be it okay now that our ponytail is unboned we're going to uh own it so this is this is a uh, this is an interesting setup. I don't know why it works like this, but uh, okay. So you're gonna want to select the ones. So I want to group these together because I want them to sort of move in tandem. Um, I want them to all move together. Uh, you can do them individually, but honestly, uh, that causes more bone groups to exist, and the more bone groups, the uh, slower this page becomes the more bone suit groups it has it will lag out v v Roid studio more might cause issues so there's really no need um you do not click generate bone group that will make a bone groups by itself by uh, the computer thing but honestly it's not that good so you want to go to create bone group so i've selected the ones that i want in this group create bone group and there we go now it will it has four bones 
which I want to quickly show you what Fort Bones will do to this. Uh, you might think that that might be a good thing, but no. You can already see there. You see how much it's wiggling compared to the other? This one has weight to it. This one's spaghetti. <laughs> you don't want spaghetti hair. Uh, your, your real hair would probably have more weight like this and not flop around like a limp fish. So uh, that's why you don't have four bones. You you want to limit the amount of, of joints um, so it doesn't have too much movement. And you can fiddle with it, but yeah. So I've normally found, uh, let's go with, I think I had two on the other one. Let me double check. Also matching it up. Yeah, I have two. Double check where it is end point. So there's a fixated point. Fixated point adjusts how far it is. So I'm gonna go, oh, we gotta go right there. The default was pretty good. Make sure that it's not too far. I'm actually gonna bring it back a little bit there because I don't want it to be too close to the head. I don't want, I want there to be some that's not moving. Uh, stiffness affects how much it moves when it does move. Uh, I found that the default is pretty much okay depending on what kind of hair you are uh, rigging and how, how, how you want to rig them. Uh, if you want it to wobble around more, uh, then you can turn the stiffness down. Uh, like so if, basically but there's a difference between adding more bones and adding the stiffness so the thing is that the bones it will only move on these two points if i turn the stiffness down uh then it will still move it will move a lot but only on those two points if i have the hair bones up then it will try to move on all of the points so that's kind of how that works um, they sort of can be used interchangeably to an extent, but not exactly. So I, I realized my head's in the way. Hello. So there we go. Um, we have that. So I'm going to go to camera exporter, check it again. Make sure to check this multiple times. It's very, very helpful. Um, it allows you to get a better idea of, uh, how your hair is moving in real time. <laughs> so can just tweak and stuff so now i see it's kind of moving approximately the same as the other one that's how i want but you still see this is all stiff that's not right so then i have to go back to hair editor and do the same thing going through each piece of it now this is where i have in different groups so i rigged these in groups together also you see those are the two colors again but i want to like i did in here i did it in sections part of the reason why i did it in sections is because i don't want a whole the whole like if i if i rigged like half of this all together then it would all move in one um one blob and now i now it's totally fine to link some of them together as you see here because hair tends to stick stick to itself strands get tangled and they'll move together but not all of them you see like all of my bangs aren't going to move together if you kind of see here they're a bit on separate layers some of them because mostly the ones nearer you see i actually have it right here these two near here in the top corner they move together because they're next to each other and they're more likely to it's a it's a lot more realistic bone um but uh i don't want the entire thing to be rigged together, especially on long hair. I will actually show you uh, what happens if you rig on uh, long hair. <laughs> you see this this hair actually used to all be uh, rigged under one, uh, the hair that on my current model used to be rigged under one hair strand, just like this. <laughs> it was a mess. Uh, not the bangs, the bangs, um, the front bangs and the ears, those were from my grandma and she is a master rigger. But the back hair was from another one I bought and uh, someone else rigged that one. And it was, uh, they're pretty new to making, uh, to rigging, I'm sure. But like I said, it's, there's no shame in that. It takes a while to learn and especially when it's a program like this. And you know, it's, it's, it's no problem. I, I can rig it myself. And um, I'm hoping that I can help more people learn. But let's see. Um, so I want... Yeah, let's mix it up a little. 
So I want those three, and then I'll rig those three together. So I want to rig these create bone group. Let's go. It'll always default to four bones, but I want two. And then fixated point, I actually want to pull a little bit down. A little bit down. I'm not going to check this because I think it will be good, but I'll check it in the end. And I'm going to click these three. Create bone group. It will not add it to a bone group. Once the bone group is created, then uh, the ones you've selected will be added to it. And if you want to add more, then you'll have to delete the bone group and then re-add. So fixated point. Back down under there. I don't want it to move too much above. I want it to be a little bit lower. And then I want... I'll group those two, yeah. That's good, that's good. Two bones, because two bones seems to work the best for me. Uh, if I want more bones, I can always add more bones. And these three, three bone group. Two bones. Move down there, so it won't move past that point. So now I go and check it out and make sure it's okay, because um, it's very important to check this. You see this, this bang is bouncing, but this bang that didn't get rigged is not. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then I will show you what it looks like when long hair is boned. I don't want to say lazily, but it's sort of lazily. I did actually want to show off this particular model here um, because it is an example of how long hair can be uh, and hair in general can be rigged on a single bone but still look nice when it moves. So I think it's uh, where there's a kick one I wanted to show. There it is. You see the hair moves pretty fluidly actually. Um, it's got a, it's got like many layers to it, but it, um, it flows pretty well. It has a more realistic, uh, look to it. I mean, I probably would change a few things to it. I would rig it slightly, but I did want to, I did want to show this off because it actually is pretty, it is pretty well done here. The hair, it has a feeling to it that it kind of sticks together and it's a big fluff. So I did want to show off the bones on this one. See, there's bones on the bangs and such. There's no bones here because the hair is being pulled back and you don't, your hair won't move when it's pulled back like that. But there's bones here in those places and this is all under one bone group. But you see they added uh, five different bones here. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> you can, they added five bones to the hair to make it have five different places where the joints will move which helps a lot with the movement in general. Its fixated point is also high up on the model up here. So that's where it will um, start. Like that's where it'll move and it'll move down. So that's part of how you can rig something. Uh, not lazily, but you know, easier like that. It's uh, and it's, it's not, it's not any worse and it's not like, rigging each individual piece is better on uh, sometimes like this in this case i don't uh i don't know you know i might rig certain parts of it differently but honestly it's pretty good as is um they did a very good job with this i just wanted to give some praise and praise there because it's it's a uh, very nicely rigged this hair i got has no bones in the hair when i know what happens when you move when there's no bones nothing that's some cardboard on your head that's not hair that's cardboard so i'm actually going to show a uh, common mistake i have seen um i did mention sometimes you can get uh you can do it well um doing it this way but a lot of the times it, it kind of looks a little awkward so i'm just gonna 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rig this all under one um, bone group here. So yeah, let's go with uh, let's just go with the default. So let's go with the default. Let's see what happens here. I mean, it looks fairly it looks fairly okay. It has a lot of bones in it, so it makes it look a little better. But it will, as you kind of see here, it's going to always move together, no matter what. There will be no breakage in the hair. There will be no separation. It will move as one being. It will move like it's your arm. Your arm is not going to split apart. But it's kind of like rigging your hand with all of your fingers stuck together. There's no ability to move those fingers apart at all. Um, so that's where that kind of becomes a problem in my mind. It is not the worst issue, uh, but it definitely takes away some of the realism. So let's go ahead and actually uh, remove some of these bones here. Okay, so we're going to rebone this here. So, um, so I'm gonna uh, add a bone group here. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there for now, and just just show the difference between uh, the groups. Hi, bless him from the future here. I missed some stuff up and I didn't show it, so I'll show it here. So I basically rigged these two strands here as uh, one piece, and then the rest is all rigged under one bone like we had before. So I'm just going to show the animations real quick. You can kind of see the running there. I didn't show this off before, but as you can see, um, the hair here is moving freely from the others, but it's sticking together in those two pieces. And this is all stuck together. It's a lot less lifelike and it's a lot less um, mm, good. <laughs> I also forgot to show myself rigging it proper, so I will show that now. So I did the same things that I did here. So I go over here and I think I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, create a bone group there. Not going to adjust the other bones on it. Make another combo there, about three, that just should be right. Those, another three. And then I'm going to go to these bottom ones and uh, rig two and two because they're very nicely put together there. One, two. And that should be it. There you go. You can kind of see the fruits of her labor there. Um, that was fairly easy to do. And now the hair is a little bit more realistically um, animated. It kind of, it, it has breaks points in it. If you want it to stay together a little bit more, you can make bigger sections. Uh, if you want it to go a little bit less, then you can break it up even more, but I really wouldn't encourage that. But yeah, you can um, do that there. Actually, one thing I would edit here for bone presets, a lot of these, it's very high up on the scalp, the fixed point, so I would bring that down to about here. Probably the same here, and here, and here. You see that flows pretty nicely. Uh, we set the thing so it shouldn't animate too close to the head and should stay together properly. And it still flows a lot more realistically. But you see the hair is moving a lot more freely now and separating in different... Uh, pieces there and it also doesn't move as one entity anymore it's moving in the pieces that we separated it so those two pieces there will stay together but uh they won't be attached to the other ones and they also have more freedom of range to be a little bit more realistic like sitting a bit over there and not sticking to these now as you may have noticed there's a bit of clipping issues at the hair so we're gonna go ahead and go in here and uh see if we can change that so you see a hit radius here. That's the size of these orbs. So the size of these orbs actually, um, it, uh, 
There you go. It will actually, uh, and overall, that shows actually how big the joints are and how, um, how likely that things will bump into them. So if we put it like that, I'm just going to turn it up to the max. See? Then that one is going to stick all the way out there. <laughs> because its bones are actually massive and it's doing its best to stay away from the other one's bones and from the bones of other things. So that's not really how hair works. So uh, you can also see right there, sometimes the preview shows it. That's not how hair looks. No. So we want to bring it back down. It's a, it, it was, a, I think, a, a, a one before. So let's go with a two and see how that works. And that seems a little bit better. It looks like it is no longer really clipping too much with the arm. It's a bit on the sleeve, but not too badly. And it's not sticking out super badly. Let me look here. Yeah, it hasn't overall changed uh, that. But it is moving a little bit more realistically. It's trying to stay away from the other pieces of the hair a bit. Um, but I think it actually needs to be slightly, slightly reduced, which actually a thing that I didn't realize at first, even though that's a two, there will be a low two, like a high two, and then there's a low two. So I normally go to one and then I go a little bit more. Uh, so let me just go to one. Actually, one, two, just barely two. Let's see how that works. Okay, yeah, it's sort of staying, staying, with, uh, staying away there. So if I go here, uh, let's do the same thing with this one. And with this one. And with this one. So these pieces will try to stay away from the other pieces and from the body itself. That's a little bit more, um, it kind of defines how, how much they can move and where they can move and what they can touch and what they're not supposed to touch. So you can see it's already looking a little bit more realistic now how, how it's moving. Um, honestly, I would probably uh, adjust these and fiddle with them more. But honestly, um, it's all about uh, what type of hair you're using, what, what you want it to be, how you want it to move, all those sort of things. These are just a bunch of tips that you can use to sort of help and improve your hair bones. So uh, another thing uh, I will say that is very good to use, um, look up references for the type of hair that you are um, going to rig. If it is uh, long hair that's thin like this one, I would look up videos, try to try to look up videos or, or, or something where there's a video of someone like, you know, if it's, if it's a girl like this that has this hair, um, then look up videos of a girl similar, just moving, just how she moves. Watch the hair, watch the hair, watch how it moves, watch how the wind blows it, watch how every movement makes it move, watch how it sticks together, and then sort of try to duplicate it in here. If it's really thick, curly hair, also do that. Sometimes those won't have much movement, sometimes they will. Uh, if you has like real floofy like this, it's going to have like a bit of floof. It's going to have a little boof. Boof to it. Boof. Boof. Certain things like that. And if it's uh, anime hair that you want to have more anime physics, go ahead and watch some anime that has similar physics. I've seen a lot of uh, men's hair and certain things. Uh, kind of like if you look at the little twiddles on the top of my head, they're a little boop boop. They kind of they kind of flop back and forth cartoonishly. Now, if they were real hair, they would likely sit a lot flatter to the head or have different gravity. But I kind of wanted a pop pop, kind of like an anime. <laughs> so experiment with it um, and uh, figure out what's best for your hair. Another thing I wanted to show is gravity. If you turn up if you turn up the gravity, then it's more likely to weigh down and not want to move from its spot. You see there? It's trying very hard to stay on the ground. And it messes up. Honestly, I would not mess too much with the gravity. Um, there's not much need to, honestly. Um, but uh, that I found, although if you do 
if you are if you are having problems with hair being too floaty for one reason or another uh, that the other sliders don't want to work uh, with um, go ahead and get in there yeah so I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or contact me on my Twitter I also stream on uh twitch so sometime when i'm live there um sometimes i stream vtuber vroid things there and uh, i'm always willing to answer questions and help out that's pretty much it so i hope you have a wonderful day or a night and uh, i will see you later good luck with your hair boning you can do it bye bye <laughs>